We have a bunch of web games. We do a bunch of trivia. This is the beginning of it all. We start with the globe. Welcome once again to a set of web games. It's me, Backpack Brain, seeing this. Get ready for just under or sometimes even a little bit more than an hour of entertaining and perhaps frustrating, confusing, and certainly interesting web game based trivia. Starting with some geography stuff. I don't know all the countries, but you know, I have a general idea most of the time. We try, we, I think global, we're pretty good at these days. Trade, you know, we, we hit or miss because they give you some weird islands sometimes. Anyway, we're about 2,000 kilometers away from India. Could be in any direction. Indonesia is cooler. Strikes me as something that is maybe uh, Saudi Arabia is adjacent. I don't know. I don't know what else is in this region here. Yemen is cooler. Mm, what else? There's a Jordan. Jordan is warmer. There's the UAE. There's Bahrain. Uh, what else is in this? What else is like the? What else is here? Forget what this part is called. Uh, this uh, Abu Dhabi is a city, <laughs> but I'm trying to remember where else everything is. Given that Bahrain and the UAE are close, it has to be this little thing here. Assuming that that's a separate. Um... Oh, what's it called though? It ha I know it has a name. Oh god. It's like, um... I don't, I don't... It doesn't come to the top of my brain. This is difficult. Hmm. Qatar. No, Qatar is cooler. But oh, that's Qatar. If Qatar is cooler, then it's not it's not this. Okay. Well then it's like I don't know. I don't know what this like area is. Iran, Iraq, okay. It's this thing then. Just I'm just filling in the areas. Um Okay, what's here? Do I know? I don't think I know. Okay, this is a difficult one. I think it will be. It's a bit. It's a bit too quick to throw in the towel. It has only been a few minutes, but I, I don't want to just look at this map for this entire rest of the day, thinking like, what is, what is next to, like Iraq or Saudi Arabia in this little region. Okay, let's think, let's think. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I, I have to look at a... They don't give you hints here, so I just have to give up on this one. What is that place? Kuwait. Okay, well, I, 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 I didn't know it. I genuinely did not know Kuwait was here. I, you, if you asked me, honestly, what is Kuwait? I would say, isn't that like a capital city of some random country? I didn't know Kuwait was its own country over here. Okay, the more you know, we have to learn to learn. You know what I mean? And that, that's one where I feel no shame looking it up because I did not know even after looking it up that that was the correct answer because I've never heard of it. It's not something... What, what are they known for? Let, let's... Let's do it while we're here, you know. I'm gonna look it up on this other tab. What are they known for? What else do they do? You know. Okay. Most of it was part of Mesopotamia. I would imagine that's the truth. Okay. Government. Well, I guess that's not really any. 
It's just kind of, they're all just kind of over there. What does this mean? What does this word mean? Hold on, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta check some. Hmm. Oh well, never mind. I was about to. I was about to. Okay, never mind. They, they, they ain't. They ain't special. They ain't. It's just. It's just one of the many regions in there. They. There's. I was. I was a fool to assume anything else. You know what? Anyway, all I do here, Bahrain is like pretty good with all the. Uh, never mind. I I was I'm thinking of a different place. I think. Okay. Never mind. They they all they all scuffed. Ice Spice is congratulating Kai Sanat on Streamer of the Year. In other news, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Me when I'm Dexado, um, the joke shred themselves. Okay, what is this? This is my coffee stain. When I take an over eager sip. As for what it actually is, I don't know. Maybe it's one of these. I don't even know where this place is, so I shouldn't have guessed it. Okay, where is it in relation to Brunei? To the left of Brunei. Hmm? How's that work? We just put Ku Kuwait down, so where is it? Okay, it's like... It's like down there-ish. Sri Lanka. I know it's not Sri Lanka, by the way. Okay, I don't know it. I don't know it. It's close to Sri Lanka, but it's down and left. I have, I have, you could, you could not. It's just information doesn't exist in my brain. I know it's not Burkina Faso. I'm just, I'm giving up. The Maldives. I did not know the Maldives were there. Why did it auto-complete human rights? <laughs> I was looking up human rights of all these countries and I just auto-completed that. Oh, the human Maldives also have their own problems. Okay, well, it turns out a lot of, a lot of these countries are kind of, okay, well, at least, you know what? It is what it is. Um, I don't want to look at... Where are the Maldives? Physically. Where are they? Southwest of Sri Lanka and Asia. I, my ass did not know the Maldives. I think I've just repeated this concept before though. I think previously I was like, where are the Maldives? Oh, they're here. I didn't know the Maldives were below like India and Sri Lanka. They were like, they're like right there. I've never like, I feel like I would hear my Indian relatives go to the Maldives more often if they were like right there. But I guess if it's so close, you know, it's like, why would you, you want to go to like America? You don't want to go to the Maldives. Whereas the Americans, they want to come to the Maldives, I guess. I don't know. It's, uh, people, it, it looks like idyllic. I mean, I'm sure it's not idyllic, but... Okay, well, well, we're not on a good hit rate at the moment. Take me to travel. Okay, Cambodia to Palestine. Well, we know, we just did a little bit of Middle Eastern recap, so we know, like, what's in the area. Saudi Arabia is going to be a mandatory... Is it not? Jordan? Well, that connects it. 
Uh, this is gonna take a few guesses. Okay, how do I how do I jump here? China, probably the biggest, the biggest one. What's in between China and Cambodia? Well, a lot, I think. Laos. Okay, so we've got that connection. Now we just need to figure this out. India. Pakistan, Iran and Iraq. Okay, that that's 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 sorted. We got there. We got there. Nice. Okay, we we could we could go on it faster through by ignoring Saudi Arabia because Iraq borders Jordan, which I guess I should I should have guessed that I should have guessed that. Oh, and you don't need India because. Pakistan and China have a border. I guess, well, I mean, this whole this hotly contested. Every, every, pretty much every country in this entire region has got hotly contested borders. It's never, never a dull moment, I guess, is the way to put it. So I'm just here to guess the geography. Um, Trade all? 10 billion, mostly ore. This is Australia too. This is um, animal hair. Hmm. Ghana, maybe? I don't know. They must have more money. 10 Ks up and right. Okay, so it's an, is that, that, what does that put me? In Eastern Europe? Bulgaria? Very far to the right of Bulgaria? Well, this can't be Russia. Is this, is this Mongolia? It's Mongolia. Okay, well, that was, the, that was more geography than guessing. I didn't know. Mongolia's just got a bunch of ore, huh? That's how they're making all their money. 10 billion is like... I mean, for the population of Mongolia, that's not that bad. Because it's a big area and a lot of people, so I guess they just kind of extract what they can. It is, it's a, it's a, to be honest, it's kind of surprising how big of an area Mongolia is. It's like, it's like in a very hotly contested, like, you know, China's there, and a lot of countries are there, and Mongolia's just got this whole huge borders to itself. It's like, uh, you know, on some level, it's very impressive, you know. Shout out the Mongols, best CS team in the world. Uh, that's not true, by the way, for any people watching this who do not know Counter-Strike. Um, that is not true. That is not true. Repeating myself by checking if my audio is going through, just because I'm a little bit paranoid of whether my audio is working or not. Okay, but we we got we, this weirdly we got trade all, but we missed on global and world all, which is usually the ones I do get. Well, no, fifty fifty on on world all because I don't know the shapes of all countries. Anyway, flag all. This is another one where your first guess should at least be something that you know the flag of. I mean, but Jordan. Okay, up and left. Is this Poland? No, is this, is this France? This is Romania. It's not Romania. Armenia. What is this? Let me think. We only have one guess left. I don't, this looks like the Romanian flag, but I don't, it's like, when it, the thing about flags is, if you don't know it, but you know, like, vaguely what it looks like, you get your brain, like, fried 100% of the time. Okay. Romania, up and to the right of Romania. It's not Belarus or Bulgaria. Um, it's not Ukraine, it's not Russia, it's not Latvia, Estonia, or Lithuania. What is this? Is this Russia? This is Cyprus? It's Moldova! That's the Moldovan flag! Okay, okay, I didn't know, I didn't know. Also, I forgot where Moldova was. Let me check where that is, okay. It's like right there. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. I just don't know what the Moldovan flag looks like because there's no CS players from Moldova, really. CS players is where my geography comes from. And if I did, they don't, they don't come from the countries, then I can't, I can't like guess for countries. It's just that simple. I don't know what you want me to do about it. Okay. 
back to my one of my favorite segments, Bandle. I'm Bandle pilled. 1968, million views. Has to be some sort of like very, very famous for it to have that many views in this channel. So let's see. Okay, well, we're starting simple. I don't know it at all. I try to groove along, maybe it stirs the memory a bit, but I don't have anything for that. Give me a. Sweet Home Alabama isn't that old, is it? I don't know, and it obviously isn't. What's... They did a good job with the cover on this, but what is it? What is this? What is this? What is this little tune? This little jaunty little, you know? It's got some atmosphere to it. Where's the brass? Where's the brass? Did I miss the brass? Don't know it at all. Is it a Brian Adams song? I don't know. Resting at the pier of the harbor. <laughs> what a pier. Now we have to, I don't want to miss this because it'll be a pretty, pretty bad striker by record here. I'm good at guessing with the clues at least. That doesn't really... Resting at the pier of the harbor. Sleep. I don't know. I want to skip it. I want to get a good guess in, but I just can't think of like a, the permutations of the word. All I can think of is like port. I don't know. Sitting on the dock of the bay. Otis Redding. No chance. Zero percent chance. Never heard it. Never seen the title. Would this title... This analogy they've given here. My ass is not listening to these songs. Listen. There's a point... Like... For a song to be that old and still, like, carry weight in like listeners of today like by listeners of today i don't mean if you're like 45 or older you're a listener of today but you're you were a listener of then you know what i mean i can listen to some songs from the 1970s 80s and then obviously from 80 from 80s and earlier it's just kind of music at that point you know what i mean it's just what you like is what you get but earlier music is just kind of like i don't know you need to really break the mold to be that old and still be like in my brain, to put it that way, or at least in the brains of people around my demographic, or at least 
in mod I'm gonna call them modern music listeners, even if they listen to stuff that came out 30 years ago, that's more modern than 19 fucking 68, okay? Understood? Okay, well, maybe I'll fare better on Pokemon Hurdle, although I don't think I will. No, I don't think I will. Um... Last time we got it, I had it in one, but I didn't guess it in one because I didn't know the name of it specifically, but... Now this is a GBA, this is like a peak... Uh... A peak, a peak ruby route, but I wouldn't know which one. Uh, I'm just gonna keep guessing random routes. I would not know which one it is. It's it's something, let me tell you, it's something, but I don't know which it is, so it's a little bit upbeat for a root. I mean the whole thing won't help me here, but let's try it. But a bit a bit. No, no, no clue. Uh, sure, we haven't guessed this one yet. It's Dodrio's Green Power from Fire Red Leaf Green. I mean, I couldn't, I, I couldn't know. I, I couldn't know. I, I played this game, I don't know where Dodrio's, what is... From, from where, from where does this play? Does any, don't play the YouTube video, chill. <laughs> this shit has 72 views? Dog? Okay. Don't play the video. Chill, chill on the video. Do not play the video. It was an e-reader minigame that never came to America. Okay, well, I mean, obviously I never played it. If it was a Japan exclusive minigame that was only playable via the parts. I could have probably figured out a way to mod it in by the way I ended up playing these games anyway, but I'm not gonna mod it in an e-reader exclusive to play, you know. Anyway, um... There's a lot of tracks like that. I mean, that there's, that just shows you the effort that happens. I mean, listen, we, we, we're getting some of that fire back in the Pokemon franchise, in my opinion. You know, if, you, if you've seen the Meloetta event, the Meloetta uh, little trick that they're running in Scarlet and Violet the DLC, that, 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 goes, that goes pretty pog in my book. Anyway, connections me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, connections. Stalk, hunt, trail, track. I mean, that's just obvious. They give you a gimme sometimes. Very rarely do you get a gimme. Okay. Snack, nibble, peck, graze, like small bites. Eat a little. Pasta, vegetables, stock, and beans. I don't know. Ingredients, I guess. Minestrone. Never really had a minestrone. Four broad pod type. Type racer, pod racer. Don't know. But I got it, so I'm not gonna complain. My typecast, podcast, forecast, and broadcast. That's my I think one of my that's like one of my only perfect connections I've ever done. They went light mode on this one, because this was dead easy. This was there was no misleading ones really. 
this was obvious, this was obvious, this one, I could, I guessed it, but like, what else could it have been, you know, there was no other foods. So, maybe the words were arranged in a way that immediately tickled my, my brain, but Flawless Connections is a rare sight for me, so I'm not going to complain anyway. So let's just pivot to the crossword then. We, we can, can, can we get a double Flawless? Time's a ticket. North, North Africa's don't know. Um, it doesn't work without Savis. Phone. Garment of Ancient Rome. Was introduced to Victoria's Secret product. Bruh. Wait a sec. Fitting. Apt. Digit number one. Thumb. Opposite of a social butterfly. Loner. Tunic. Met. Atlas. Who's this? Anita. <laughs> I mean, that's a good guess. Uh, we're on 41 seconds, bro. I cook, I cook the New York Times games, bro. I cook them today. Good form for me. Very rare that I get those so good. I could have had a great, I could have had a great run if I had figured out some geography today, but alas, not to be. Anyway, another chance. This is kind of a geography game, but it's not really a geography game. Food guesser. Guess the food, guess the place the food is from. Um, seafood? Kind of. I don't really have a grasp on like what, what the ingredients are here. I don't want to really, I don't know if I should guess or if I should really, the ingredients would help me. A little bit at least. I want to see if I can get contextual clues. Maybe this is a Vietnam joint? Couldn't be further away, maybe. Okay, very, very far from Vietnam. Maybe it's the European Mediterranean. Well, where is the Mediterranean? What countries eat Mediterranean food? Because the, the Mediterranean is not like a... It's not a place. It's like a sea. Turkey. Okay, well... Africa, maybe? No, because then it would be down. Hmm. I almost said clambake. It's clam bake. I have no clue what a clam bake is, okay? Seafood dish amongst Native American tribes in New England. There was only one answer. It was the US. You, you place fresh seafood amongst other ingredients, steaming them in layers. Okay, rich history. Never heard of it, me personally. Although I, th I think I've heard people talk about it, but you know, I've never really eaten seafood in this manner. Me personally, I've just never been to the kind of restaurant which serves seafood in this manner in that kind of way. So, you know, no big deal. I forget this is three rounds. This is not just one guess. Send me to round number two. What is this? Is this pasta or is this no pasta? This is like almost pasta, but it's not pasta. What is it? I'll be dumb not to guess Italy. Okay, well, I guess I'm dumb to guess Italy. Um, Estonia? But there's not very many countries up there, are there? North of China? Oh, well, I guess it wraps around. What? I don't even know what's the... Canada. Okay, I'm gonna need some reveal this. Olivier salad. Um United Kingdom. Russia. Wait, okay, first of all, absolutely no shot that China and Russia they're bordering each other. You can't say that that, that far. Okay, forget about the geography component of this. Don't look at the directions, they're all completely misleading. We're learning that now. Vegetables, meat, and mayonnaise. Is this cold? Or is this like warm? If this was warm, it would taste pretty good, in my opinion. Boiled eggs, creamy and tangy. It seems decent. 
Like I would, I would, I would, I would eat this in like a small serving. I couldn't eat this in a large serving. It's not. Maybe if you put it on like bread, because it's 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 too much. It's too like um, what do you call it? There's not enough solid in it, so I couldn't just eat it. It would it would probably after a little while make me feel a bit ill. To be honest with you, although I could be proven otherwise. I don't need because it doesn't look like there's much chew to it. It looks like it would kind of be like um. I don't know. Like, it just looks like it would be good on, like, toast. But that's just me. I mean, I'm kind of appropriating the cuisine here, but... Anyway, those are points. Um, we need to get one. Gimme, give gimme. Give gimme, give like, something I should know. Okay, first of all, what am I... This loading in, this... What is this? Is this a walnut... Ice cream? What country invented walnut ice cream, huh? Or is this, it's just ice cream with, like, marmalade and a walnut on top. Okay, give me the name of this. Don Derma. Okay, that helps me. It's not just the UK. It's somewhere else. Okay. Hungary? I don't know. Down it to the right of Hungary. Greece. Azerbaijan. Turkey. It's Turkey. I should have guessed it from Don, huh? Turkish ice cream. Oh yeah, they do the they do the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have the they do the thing. They they have their own unique little twist on it. They do the like um Oh oh here's your ice cream, here's your ice cream, and then they don't give it to you. Okay. I can respect that. Usually I would be like you, did you really invent ice cream? You know what? They probably did invent that because they've been doing it. The, the, in the fifth, I can imagine like a 15th century, the guys were doing the same thing they were doing now. They were like dancing around. I love how I got 133 points for the United States here, even though I didn't even guess it. How did I get points for this? Myers got Myers is terrible at this, man. I mean, my palate is not like, it's not like wide. But it's like, wide. Like, I'll eat anything, but I don't eat anything. Like, it's, it's kind of very descriptive of me as a person, I would say. And this may sound like cope, but it's really not cope. Like, I can do it, but I just don't do it. I don't feel the desire to do it, you know what I mean? Like, there are people who will be like, I want to go into a new social setting. I want to meet new people. And there are people who are like, I want to try something new I've never tried before today. I'm, every day I order from a restaurant, new thing, new item. If I don't like it, I enjoy the process of discovery. I'm there, like, I don't, if someone's, if I'm out with someone and they order something, I'm like, okay, fine. Opportunity to try something new? Give me something I've never tried before. And if I didn't like it, that's, that's all fine. I've added something to my list of mental mapping of food. But if I'm like, you know, at home and we're like, what do we want to order? I'm there, like, same thing I order every time, you know, pick one, pick from one of like four or five places that we always get good food from and eat the good food. You know what I mean? Like, on an average day at home, I don't feel like getting food that's, like, crazy adventurous. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not- I might order from a rest- if I'm- like, put it this way. If I'm ordering from a restaurant I've never had before, I'm ordering a food I have had. If I'm ordering from a restaurant I always order from, I might try something I've never had. Because they've- we've developed some trust. You know what I mean? But if I'm going out in, with someone else who's adventurous with food, you know what? I'm on the I'm on the path with you. You know what? I'm on that trajectory. I'll have a cuisine I've never eaten from before. You know what's good? Let me ask them. Let me ask the people at the counter. Let me ask the chefs. Whatever. But I'm not. I'm not like a. You know, in the same what vein as social stuff. You know. If, I'm. I'm never the instigator, but I'm always like down to down to clown or whatever. To some extent, at least. That's my cope. Anyway, enough waffling. It's time for Pokédoku.
Okay, Pokédoku, it finally loaded. So it's having a bit of a moment now. It's just getting quite popular. The servers are kind of buffering my inputs in. New Pokédex in the profile page. Will this reveal my entire address? Old? It's in the profile page. Ah, oh, it's just, it's just, it's just gonna store this. Okay, well, I mean, this, this isn't anything new. It just shows my email, and my email is on my YouTube. If anyone's like bothered, but I'm not gonna read all my emails if you're just gonna spam it. But no one spams it, so we're gonna, we're good, we're good on that one. Okay. Okay, Doku. Dark and psychic. What's that guy's name? I always forget which one of these is dark and psychic. It's probably you. Okay, we added right. The other one's Ghost and Psychic. Fly again, Psychic. Swoobat. Or I can get Swoobat, but Swoobat is probably a bit less. Psychic Legendary. Necrozma. Dark and Ice. Sneasel. I think that's the obvious pick. I'm just adding stuff to my Pokedex, I guess. Should do, you, should, you should try and opt for stuff. Well, I guess, okay. Does it show me if I've got if I've Pokedex something before? It should they should add it. What they should add, they should add a little Pokedex icon here, so that you know if you if you're about to pick something. Okay, I've picked this one before. Let's try and up the count rather than having to like go to the profile, check it, and then go about this song and dance. But as it stands, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Okay, flying and ice type. We may as well just knock Articuno in this time being. In Ice type legendary. Reg Ice. I mean yeah. Dark Mega. Gyarados Mega is Dark type. Flying Mega. Quite a few. Alteria is not a flying type when it mega evolves, I think. We'll just choose Mega Mega Pidgeot. Good one. A, a legendary Mega. Is Diazzi a legendary? What damn legendary gets a mega, bro? You have me on pause for- oh, Mewtwo, obviously. Mewtwo. Okay, well, let's- well, let's continue on this one. Okay, what's the other one? Delibird! Delibird. How many of these are there? Okay, Curums. The, obviously, the Curums, the Calyrexes, and then Chien Pao. And Regis, of course, and Articuno. Okay. Rayquaza, the Mewtwo, and Latias, Latias twins. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm learning and absorbing the data set. Oh, yeah, the Inke line. Those guys. They're annoying to face in battles because they always have some tricky ass shit going on. And especially Randbats, if you know, you know. Can I Pokedo me? This is the kind of day where Pokédo hits. I say that every day hits when you're doing Pokédo. You know if you know. Okay. Classic. Torloon, my, my default guess. It is a grass type. It is a first stage grass type from an earlier gen. Let's try an Oddish. Is from Gen 1, it is not poison type. Execute. There are only so many options. Don't praise me too much for that one. The hell is this? Carmelian. Tilted to the hell. The itch of its teething impels it to snap its jaws at anything in front of it. It is a baby teething Pokemon. Gibble? Carvana. It is a water type. Basculin. Oh, it's Arrokudo. It's not Arrokudo, it's Chutal. Fucking ugly Pokemon. Well, very few Pokemon, I'm, I'm like, you don't need to exist. Most Pokemon, I'm like, cool. You just, you are horrible. You're, you evolve into something worthwhile. Dreadnought is not that bad. It's got a, a G-Max as well, it's not that bad. 
But you, my friend, need to be fixed. You need to be redesigned. Okay, this is Elecute. Can't stop me. Can't stop, won't stop. I always cook on the poke -do. Take me to poke grid. We're, we're moving, we're moving fast. We're moving rapid style. This, there's a lot going on over here. Um, first of all, Groudon. First of all, Groudon. <laughs> first of all, Groudon. No, it doesn't work. Um, ooh, we can Kyogre. I like that. It's, it's, I like when we have some kind of inner synergy going on over there. Okay, ground type that can learn fire punch. Now, I think you can learn fire punch, but I kind of fucked it on that one. Okay, this is going to be hard now that I've excused myself from this answer. What's a ground type that looks like it can punch? First of all, let's do the rest. Um, Gliscor. Hmm. What's that guy's name? Camerupt. My go-to is no one ever remembers Stowlin, but I like the guy. Monotype can learn Fire Punch. Hitmonchan, if you can't learn Fire Punch, you're a fraud. Fire type they can learn Fire Punch. There's only 35 Fire Types that can learn Fire Punch. And that's a crazy to me. How about Darumaka? Okay, now, now we have to think about this one. You have to think about this one real hard. Okay. I could have put Grout on, but we fucked it because I didn't I didn't think. Oh I can I can actually um hold on. Hold on, let's let's, let's I can revert Grout on, put Grout on here and then put a different ground type PR. Because I have that option. But I need to think of it, then I can think of another option for ground type with no evolutionary line. Which I can't think of. If I had, if I had two, if I could undo the undo both of these, I'll put heat more here, grout on here, and primal grout on here. But we don't have that luxury. Oh wait, I can put primal grout on here. Hold on, that heat more here. Yes, okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. Saved. Saved. There's other ways to do it, obviously, but mold trays. Okay. I don't know what the other what what, what other fire type what other ground types can learn fire punch. You, you need to give me those damn tables, okay? Don't be shy. That was your data set. Um. Anyway, cost kodu should bring us right back to. Ooh, that looks pretty nice. I think. What is cilantro? What is cilantro? Cilantro is coriander. But, I mean, we use that shit all the time, bro. Kothian beer. If you know, you know. Okay, so basically, this is just chicken. You don't need to put cilantro. Like, if you cook something with coriander in Indian cooking, you, you don't usually put coriander in the title of the meal. Everything has coriander in it. You should put that shit in there. It tastes good. The leaves can be a bit annoying, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay. Um,. Cilantro lime chicken, two pounds. We learned from last time. Oh, it's paleo as well, so they're trying to be fancy with it. Okay, a kilo. Let's start with I think the nine ninety nine. But chicken, it can't be that far from. It's it's that more sixteen ninety nine. Okay, well we're right in the middle. Okay, thirteen ninety nine, thirteen forty nine. It's hard to play stuff like this because like a cheap one. You could get for like 10 bucks and it would be okay. Some fancy ass one you could get for like 20 bucks and it would probably taste the same, to be honest. Depends on which one you buy. It's hard to play something like this, especially since I don't know like 
how much of an up a price up does like like what else is in here? You know what I mean? Like, it's Kevin's a good brand. It's natural food, so it's, it should be expensive because they're trying to be fancy with it. Anyway. Enough embarrassing myself. Take me to Nuru where I can embarrass myself but at least be successful in it. Okay. There is a plus. The equals is probably here. Last time we had an equals in this slot, which is rare for us, but okay. Let's try a 32. Let's try a 92. But this close, quite close, in fact. Okay, um, we can we can we can figure this out. Hmm. Problem is, there's a multiple combinations of this kind of stuff. Okay. Hmm. If this is not six, this strikes me as a four or four. Two, three, four, six, and nine, but there are six different slots. If there's no zero, there's a duplicate. If there is a zero, then it's very then there has to be a duplicate. Logically, right? Oh no, not necessarily. It could be like a forty-six and forty-four. No, but yeah, okay. No, but there's a two and three. Figure this one out, bro. Come on. Well, that works, but the problem is, is we're missing out on some of the ingredients of this entire equation. Why did my voice fuck up there? I, I tried to ride the wave of that voice break, but it just didn't work. Okay. Given that this is nine. And there's no six here. Maybe there's a six here, but then the order is kind of irrelevant. It should be commutable. Let's try something like this. Well, then there's no room for a four there, is there? I'm a genius. Okay. I'm a genius. I just pressed enter and these, these things solve themselves, man. I don't even need a comment on it anymore. How good am I? Wasn't that like an Australian political slogan? How good is Australia? It was. It was Scott Morrison's catchphrase. Oh, well. The Never mind. Um, anyway, moving swiftly forwards from Scott Morrison's get catchphrases. Never thought I had to stay, say his name on a broadcast. Anyway, Chessel. Let's see where we land on this. Okay, D4, NF6, NF3. Okay, maybe, we'll let, maybe, maybe it's D4, NF6, NF3, in fact. Seems unlikely. Maybe it is. Just how it is. Maybe it's this. Okay, well it is d4, nf6, nf3. There is no d5, bishop g5, or bishop g4. Maybe there's a bit of this going on here. We try, did we try knight c3? It's none of these. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. We tried d6.
Delayed C4, maybe? How's this sound? How's this sound? Okay, we know we're getting nowhere. Literally, none of these are correct answers, and I'm varying them every time, so. There's no E5. There's no E4. There's no Knight C6. Have we tried Knight C3? Okay, we tried d6 and d5, but e6. Try d6? No? Okay. What else are we missing? I mean, it's not going to be that. You just take the damn pawn. Have we tried knight c3? We have. Okay, then I'm running out of ways to make this make sense. Um... Bishop f4? Have we tried bishop f4? I mean, none of this makes any sense to me, personally. I'm t I, it's, it is e6. Okay, well, then is it... what is it? But we know it's not bishop g5, so... And we know it's not e5 or it's not e4 or c4. It's not a bishop move. It's not a knight move. The only possible move I can see is this. How's that? It was g3, but then it was b5. b5? B5? In serio? I would never have guessed B5. So I'm happy I got at least got G3, you know? B5 is crazy. Never seen that played ever. In before someone in the fucking comments. It was actually played during the 17th annual Chess Federation tournament. Um, Cardus Magnuson and Gary Chess. They played, they played this exact line. And it ended in a draw. Somewhere in the world, Anishigiri wakes up in a cold sweat. A draw! Yeah, a draw. Anyway, um, enough chess. Spell check. What? This is the day. This is the day we get them all right. Either. A adjective meaning being the... Yes. Began. A verb meaning to do the first part of a... Yes. Plumbing. A noun meaning the act of using a plumb... Using a plumb? Deck. A noun meaning a platform in a ship... Yes. Shrimp. A noun meaning any of... Okay. Round one done. Pervasive. A adjective meaning existing in or spreading through... I almost said pervasive. Vibrant. A adjective meaning pulsating with life. Pulsating is not the word I would use there. Sardine. A noun meaning any of several... Sardine. Throughout. A preposition meaning all the way... Okay, we're getting good. Kraken. A noun meaning a gigantic... We're 10 for 10. I think we've, this is the, maybe the first or second time we've done this whole thing. I mean, we've done this early puff flawless. Now, deadly moments. Patois. Oh. A noun meaning a dialect other than the standard or literary dialect. The word originates from French language. Patois. A noun meaning a dialect R other than is the standard or, or literary not? dialect. There's no R. Reprobate. A noun meaning an unprincipled. And I even know the next one. Propound. Propound. A verb meaning to offer for discussion. Come on. Franchise. A noun oh, come meaning the on. white Gallium. A noun meaning Bullshit. a bluish white metallic Bullshit. element Bullshit. obtained especially. I know all these words, of course. Oh, patois. It's patois. It's patois. Parlez-vous français? No, I don't speak French. I even, I even know the word. Come on. That was a gimme. 14 is still my highest, so we'll take it, but... Okay, listen. In rage, I'm gonna break my record here, right now. Primordial. A adjective mean... Penchant. A noun... Penchant. Adjutant. A noun meaning... What? Celerity. A noun meaning rapidity of motion or action. I don't know. Galoot. A noun meaning fellow, especially one who is strange... 
Generalissimo, a noun meaning the chief commander of an army. <laughs> what is that, bro? Lineage, a noun meaning descent in a line from a... Sure. Camarilla, a noun meaning a group of unofficial... Camarilla, generalissimo, glute. Adjutant, good one. Celerity, good one. Okay, well, three, correct. That's, that's a failing grade. That's not even 50% hit rate on that. So, well, maybe game will save me. Game do save me, game do save me. I don't think it can save me, guys. Classic. I don't know games. Ooh, it's a Yu Gi Oh game. It's one of these. It's the other one. Shockingly, I'm correct. I mean, I don't even. I have well, I watched a little bit of Yu Gi Oh here and there, but I recognize that hairstyle anyway. Come on. Okay, artwork. Um, sure, it's, 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 it's Metal Gear Rising Revengeance again. <laughs> it is a beat-em-up. It's got a sword. It's got people on horses, maybe? War. Gears of War, that doesn't really seem like a horse game. Is there, is there any night and night game? Sure. This doesn't really help me more than I'm already being helped by what I've been given here. It's an Attack on Titan game. That's the damn Colossal Titan, bro. Of course it's the Attack on Titan game. They made a game out of Attack on Titan? You give me a bunch of anime stuff. This is cheating. Obviously, I know the anime. I don't know the game. This is the damn Colossal Titan? That's Owen, bro. You don't, need to, you don't need to butter me up with the damn anime games to get me to keep playing this. Nurse Doctor Tycoon. Can I just guess? Can I just put Tycoon here? Surgeon Simulator. Invisibility. Can I put simulator down and see which one of these seems like correct? Isometric view. PS1 Classics Staff Training. Theme Hospital. I got it correct? Theme hospital. Well, it said medical and I said, oh, it's a hospital. It's a hospital apparently. So they just, that's the best they could do at that point. We're on 100% hit right today on game though. Can we get everything? Can we get all four game though? Attack on Titan. It's an old ass game. It has third person. It is not a hacker slash, it is an action game. Okay. The original Dark Souls. Older than that. It is an RPG or adventure game. No one knows what engine that was made in? Surprising. Okay. Older than 2011. About Half-Life 2. <laughs> It's not a Valve game, it is single player only, older than 2004. It is a shooter. The original Far Cry. That came out in the same year, but it is, an Ubi it is a Ubisoft game. When did the original Crisis come out? Probably like 2006, maybe. I'll guess it, but I don't know it. 
Give me the clue, bro. What the fuck is Jade, man? I'm a false gamer. What is Jade? Okay, we're screwed here, I think. Oh, God. It's kind of, it is some of these guys, but not of this saga. I'm oh, muted for a sec, anyway. Um, is there, do, do they make a different kind of game? I don't know. Never heard of this game. I could not have gotten it, but that's the best I've ever done in game, though. You know, I'm gonna hit you with a mark on that one. That was a good set of web games. Web games and if you enjoyed the video and stuff, be sure to like, subscribe, etc. My links are in the description if you want more. If you want to see live on Twitch, join. We have a fun time over here. Yeah, enjoy.